Oh, oh, you fell. Hi guys, it's Thursday, and just so that you know a little bit about what happened this week, I didn't film anything because uh, nothing really happened. I went home. I got to see MJ. MJ. He's turned out okay, but the MJ. Easier. Yeah, I mean, he just was a problem all the way through. You know. That happened, and then I went to Motown with my brother. No, why? Why would I do a selfie? So <laughs> and then I came back and went into Rebecca's room, Rebecca's room to visit, and we discovered that our chairs do this. Rebecca's gonna demonstrate a miracle. <laughs> no, sit in it. I like how it's a rocking chair. <laughs> I feel like it kind of looks like a gaming chair. <laughs> Which then led to this. <laughs> <laughs> that's the whole week so if you're here to see how my week went that's pretty much it so instead to fill in for time that i didn't film I'm sorry. I was going to film, like, my college favorites. I don't want to say must-haves because don't... I hate it when people say that it's a must-have because you may not want it or need it. But I love them, and they're must-haves for me. So I, they're just my favorites. So here we go. <laughs> the first thing that I have is this thing. Um, basically an auxiliary cord, but I didn't know that these existed until December. It's an auxiliary cord that goes into your cassette player, in case you have a dinosaur, like I do, for a car. I love my car. Um, you And you want to play your own music. I mean, I was buying those things that tune into the, the radio, and when you're driving long distances, the radio stations change, and so it makes it really hard to play music in your car. But this is just like having an auxiliary cord, and I actually think it sounds really good in the car. And um, I got this one off of Amazon. So, my second thing that I always, almost always have on me is this thing. This is the portable phone charger that LSU sent me before we started school, and I absolutely love it. it. I plug it into my surge protector because my surge protector has USB ports on it, and I carry it around with me because I go through 90% battery in the morning because I should find a new hobby. Anyway, <laughs> stop that noise. This is my next thing that is on my list of absolute favorites because it's my water bottle and it's a Camelback water bottle. Um, I didn't get it because it's a Camelback. I got it because it has a filter in it and I would open it to show you but it has water in it. So this is one of my favorite things because I can fill it up anywhere. I tend not to fill it up in the bathroom but if I wanted to I could because it filters water and so it makes me not need to find a water fountain or anything and I absolutely love it and I bring it into the dining hall with me and I fill it up in the dining hall and people will judge me because I take a long time to fill it up and I absolutely love it and I drink like I think I'm supposed to drink like six of these a day. I drink like four of these a day. The thing that I'm going to show you I also did not pull down for you because I'm not taking that down off of my bedside and that is my alarm clock. Um, if you are anything like me you will know that uh, your cell phone does not always wake you up. Very bad at waking up to a cell phone alarm and so I went to Target and I got an extra loud alarm clock and actually it wakes me up every morning exactly when it rings because the guilt of thinking that it might wake up Kelsey makes me wake up. <laughs> my next thing on my list actually on the ground. My next thing on my list is this! It's a shoe! It's a really comfortable shoe! You need really comfy shoes! Oh my goodness! When I came to college, I did not realize that. Um, I mean, I knew I needed comfy shoes, but I did not realize, like, how durable I needed shoes to be. I broke three pairs of shoes when I came to college. I broke my sandals, my toms, and my converse. Um, these are actually my old converse. These are my old Converse that I was, I told my mom I was going to throw away, but I kept them because I use them when it's wet outside, but not raining. And I don't want to look like a dork wearing rain boots. 
that's what I use them for. Um, just have like an old pair of shoes that you can rely on that you know won't give you blisters that you are willing to just ruin. This is my next item. The, oh wow, it's open. Whoops. This is my next item. It is Tiki Tack. It's like elementary school Tiki Tack that you know, like you rip it off and you, you make it into a little thing and then you hang stuff on to, you know, that's how that works. The wall. Um, we soon discovered that command hooks are not the nicest thing in the world. Um, there's a lot of command hooks in this room and it makes me fear for the day that we have to take things off of our wall because they say damage free but they're liars. <laughs> I started using Tiki Tack to hang everything up. All of my pictures are hung up with Tiki Tack. Um, all of the decorations that you saw that I would put on my door were hung up with Tiki Tack. The only thing that I use a command hook for is like a sign on the door and you know, some things that I didn't know beforehand. I'm very sorry that I didn't film anything for you guys this week. Um, I'll try and do better next week. I'm just out of practice. And I'll see you guys next week, hopefully with the real video. <laughs> I don't know of what yet. I, I don't know. Bye!